Hello friends, today we are going to get into a new tutorial. My name is Vince and this is Visual Lab. So today I'm going to show you something more about expressions. I see lots of video and things people made and all, in all these videos people use uh, keyframes to set these bouncing effects like in motion graphics when a when an ellipse is um, moving or when ellipse is showing up. I always see people use keyframe. Not everyone is using it, but a lot of, lot of people are doing it. So today I want to show you how to use expressions for that. It's a lot easier and will save you lots of time. And that's always nice. And of course it looks better, a lot better. So as you can see, I've created this tree bouncing ellipse. On the left side I've used some keyframe and as you can see it just stops because I don't have set any more keyframe because well it takes takes lots of time it's hard to just get a smooth ending so on the right side you see an expression that ends well so it's it looks sweet and good and that's what we have to use for motion graphics because you want to create something looking great of course and in the middle you see a red ellipse just bouncing like a crazy a crazy looking ball or something so let me explain you what I did so the first thing I'm going to show you the the blue ellipse so when I zoom in you can see I've created some keyframes and set the or change the scale value just get the, the just to get a bouncing effect so I go to from 70 percent to 75 to 80 and that goes on and on and it just ends right here it just goes to just stops at 70 and that's well it's okay when when you have a small object in your scene but now it just looks well, it looks just not good and when I'm going to the red ellipse you can see I've just set two keyframes just one from the beginning 30% to just 70 where I want it to be and then I've added in an expression. I will post the expression in, in the description of this video so you can copy and paste it. In, the, the, in, this, in this code you only have to worry about the, the amp, the frac and the DK frequency and DK and ampere I guess what it is. And in that when, I, when you change this to maybe 8 and this the, fr the frequency maybe to 15 you can see that it will bounce a lot more so it will bounce too much and on the right side you can see an ellipse the pink one where I've used the same expression and then decrease the amount of ampere frequency and DK I've set DK to 2 and frequency to 4 maybe DK, DK can be uh, well five and frequency six and it will also look good I guess so there we go so if you have any more questions about expressions there are lots of expressions on the internet um, just search bouncing or wiggle expression just copy and paste it and set it into your into your code how to get into the code is just copy and paste it um, just go to your skill where you want it to happen then um, press alt and then click on the watch so press alt watch and then paste it and there you go there is your first you are seeing an arrow but don't look at that it will disappear when you click something else um, there is your expression then just hit render and there you go there it is there is your expression so that's how expressions work. It, it will make your work look better and it's lots easier to use. Uh, I will post it in the description so don't worry. I hope you liked the video and hope I can help you with it. If you have any questions or if you need feedback for something just ask me, send me a, send me a message or something. Um, I see you in the next time I will make another tutorial. See you, bye! Peace.